In this video, I compare the run tracking accuracy between the Xiaomi Watch S4 and the Garmin 4Runner 955. The Watch S4 was uh, only recently made available uh, globally. Uh, and uh, I published, uh, you can find the link to my full review uh, in the description below. Now, as a keen runner, I was uh, most uh, interested in uh, testing out its uh, run tracking ability. Uh, but beyond run running, uh, the Xiaomi Watch S4 supports over 150 sports with automatic detection for some of the most common ones. Now, I have to say right away that the watch didn't disappoint. I wore it uh, on about five or six different runs alongside the Garmin 4 Runner 955 uh, uh, for comparison. And uh, the GPS uh, was uh, quick to connect every single time, uh, except once when it took a few minutes. Uh, so I can say uh, on most occasions it was just as quick as the Garmin, uh, apart from that one occasion, which I mean, I, I mean, I think things like that happen to the best of them. Uh, that was more of an outlier. Most of the time it locked in within seconds. Now, as far as the GPS accuracy, again, uh, it, it, it's very, very commendable. On a uh, 7.5K run, uh, the Xiaomi measured 7.49 kilometers versus the Garmin's 7.50 kilometers. Uh, so it's only a 10 meter difference over that uh, distance. and. You can add to that that I was running in a very central area of uh, a large city, uh, so that would have made it even more difficult. But the GPS tracking accuracy is excellent. Now, when we get to the heart rate uh, monitor, that's where the picture gets a bit more complex. Uh, heart rate tracking was reliable on the Xiaomi for easy and mid effort runs, matching up very well against the Garmin. However, at very high intensity, accuracy starts to slip. Now, I suspect this is due to the, the way the watch is constructed. If you compare the Garmin uh, 4955 and the Xiaomi uh, Watch S4, they're actually very similar dimensions and very similar weight. But uh, the weight seems to be more evenly distributed on the Garmin. For example, uh, Xiaomi has uh, a, a metal uh, bezel and that sort of adds uh, heft at the top of the watch. Also, its heart rate sensor protrudes a bit more than the Garmin, which means uh, it's a bit more difficult to, for it to get a, a snug fit on the wrist. And add to that uh, that I have very slender wrists and uh, Xiaomi is, I think, more suitable for people with uh, larger wrists. Now, uh, looking at the numbers, on a steady state uh, 7.5K run, the Xiaomi estimated my average heart rate at 134 beats per minute with a maximum of 161 beats per minute whereas the Garmin recorded the 134 beats per minute and the 157 as the high. So both are, well, one is spot on, the other one is very close. Now, for a uh, recent high intensity 5K, the difference was more noticeable. The Xiaomi estimated my average heart rate at 159 and max at 181 beats per minute, while the Garmin recorded 151 and 167. So that's a bigger gap. Uh, unfortunately, the watch S4 doesn't support external heart rate chest straps, which would have helped in this scenario. That said, for those with larger wrists who can get a tighter fit, this may not be as uh, much of a problem. Beyond that, you get some nice run tracking data on the Xiaomi. In addition to all the usuals, the Xiaomi spits out a bunch of running dynamic metrics, which was a pleasant surprise for me. This includes uh, ground contact time, vertical amplitude, uh, and vertical ratio. Plus, you get things such as uh, training effect, training load, and VO2 max, all of which seem pretty reasonably accurate uh, to me. Now, I will show you a side-by-side -side comparison of the MiFit app and the Garmin Connect app. This is for the 7.5K run that I mentioned. Now, I have to say that I did the as mentioned, about five or six different runs, and uh, the results uh, were very... This, this 7.5K run was very representative of the other results. So you see on the left-hand side the MiFit tap on the right-hand side Garmin Connect, and you get uh, pace cadence uh, and uh, ground metrics that I mentioned uh, before. Of course, the Garmin is a dedicated sports watch, so you're going to get uh, much more 
a bigger uh, variety of data. Uh, but that's not surprising. I mean, that Garmin is built for sports tracking, whereas Xiaomi is more of a... I would classify it more as a fitness watch rather than a sport, sports watch or a smart watch. So all in all, uh, I was uh, pretty impressed with the Xiaomi S4. I mean, it's not a huge difference from Watch S3. Most of the differences are cosmetic. The sensors are exactly the same. Uh, it's uh, mostly due to the design. Now you get a rotating uh, crown instead of uh, two flat buttons. So you get a rotating crown and a flat button. And uh, the, the menu, uh, the way you navigate the menus is slightly different now. Uh, and so it takes a bit of time to get used to, used to it, but it's still uh, very intuitive. Uh, the watch uh, uh, has a very, very beautiful screen, uh, which has uh, up to 2200 nits of brightness. That's more than even the Apple Watch Series 10. And for me, that's the highlight of the device, uh, the beautiful watch and the beautiful design. And as a sports tracking device, I think it'll suit uh, most people, probably not the hardcore runners, uh, unless they have uh, very large wrists uh, so can get a snug fit uh, uh, and uh, a more accurate the tracking of heart rate during high intensity exercise.